Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasa Reviews. What we have is an anticipated one in Takara's MP36 Megatron. So I'm not as glowing as most people about this are about this. It's nine and a half inches tall, by the way. I'm going to point out some of the accessories and things like that. I think it's a solid bot mode. Looking at the barrel extension, stock, key to vector sigma, sword, alternate faces. Got the damaged chest, the mace, as well as his blaster. But yeah, I'll give you a roundabout here. Issues with the transformation, paint chipping, and things like that really just, it just ruined it for me. And he does come with a coin as well. I like how they are doing the, doing the card holders. That's really neat chest there and you can see it comes with the instructions the card this comes with a lot of stuff but at the price of 230 it's almost like one of those things where it better come with quite a bit but that's almost a hundred dollars more than the other Megatrons available from third parties you know so we'll take a look at it and I'll let you form your own opinions via top down bottom to top view And it really is pretty. There's been some, there's been some, I guess, discern about the gaps in the back, the holes and things like that. And I don't really mind it too much. That's the least of my concerns. I don't display them with the back facing forward or anything. And looking at its posability here, it's hella posable. Lots of shoulder options in terms of additional swing. I don't know if that's considered a double el elbow joint, but it goes far past 45 degrees. Articulated fingers. Only the pinky and thumb have individual articulation. The other three are all together, but definitely better than nothing. And just the look at this thing is fantastic. I mean, when it comes to cartoon accuracy, I don't think we're going to see a better Megatron in that set. Where this one really, really, I guess, loses some points. You know, and it's not losing points like, oh, all of a sudden it's a 5 out of 10, but maybe a 7 instead of a 10 out of 10 is the QC. And I'll show you guys when it gets to alt mode. It's all about the transformation and attaching the barrel extension in particular. And I love that he has ab crunch. I gotta put that out there. Ab crunch to me is the new ankle tilt to where, you know, you think back 2012-2013, if a toy had ankle tilt, it was cutting edge. It was top of the line articulation. And we're just looking at his blaster and sword here. But now that ab crunch giving them a better stance and things like that that I think that's the part that really sets toys apart of course they have to have the other things you can't have ab crunch and no ankle tilt but you know that's the new I don't know creme de la creme when it comes to articulation and it's cool to see more of these transformers toys having it and even though it's not shown here that Energon Blade can actually detach from the sword hilt. And if you want, you could actually place it in the barrel of the gun to make it look like a blast effect. So, dual purpose there. Pretty neat. But again, this thing, $230 MSRP. Um, that's US. I know if you ordered from overseas and things like that, I think it was a little bit closer to. 160 170 but then you got to add on shipping and things like that and it's a big box so you're still getting into that 200 plus range there what's that all right well i'm knocking stuff over taking a look at his mace i'm glad i read the instructions or else i would have been finagling with trying to place a hand on the inside and things like that like a lot of Megatron toys to attach it but it just slides out the fist and then this slides in. Now one thing that's cool, this is creative 
you could either have the traditional chain or you could have this I guess articulated plastic piece there so that you can get some of those swinging looks and things like that now it is still a little bit heavy so you gotta find those right angles for the arms and things like that but once you do you got some good swinging looks uh, it's decent the mace in general isn't my favorite weapon for Megatron so you know it's one of those things where I'm not gonna display it period but it's nice it's nice to have that it's creative and I really do I love the look of this I like the direction that they're going with cartoon accuracy and whatnot and Megatron really just brings that to a forefront that that's the direction that they're going we're looking at some of his other accessories here comes with his mind control helmet pretty cool doesn't lock on or anything like that holds on with friction and actually holds on pretty well now to take his faces out they just pop out of the top there's a peg that goes up top there and you can see underneath it has that grid design from the Transformers movie where he turns into to Galvatron Right. He has a laughing, maniacal face. An angry face, and pff, it's dead on. Now this is cool. This is some of my favorite stuff that came with it. Alright, you see it has his damaged face there, but it also comes with a damaged chest piece for it. To complete that look that he had after the fight with Optimus Prime in the movie. There's that. That's freaking awesome. We're going to take a look at some of the sound effects on the barrel. It has three different sounds that you can choose between, so... And this is a voiceover, so I'm just playing each of them separately. But, it's a Japanese voice, blast, transform sounds. Pretty cool stuff. Now we're going to look at some of the different options for his stock and barrel extension. And it's cool because I didn't, I didn't realize this before I actually got it in hand, but it becomes a flight base for him. Which is really neat. And it's weird because the stock and barrel extension are something that Ever since G1, they've been a regular thing for, I guess, Megatron. But, nowadays, when it comes to the third parties in particular, you know, it's something you don't see unless maybe it's going to, a future add-on set and things like that. You know, so it's cool that this comes with. And it's extra cool that it, you know, has these options here and stuff like that. And one thing I am going to say while we're going through this video review, the transformation video is actually going to be separate. This is a pretty intricate transformation. It's not a super long one, but there are a lot of folding pieces and this and that, and I don't want to extend this review any more than it has to be. But that'll give me some time to do some different cuts and stuff like that, zoom in on some areas that need to be done instead of just, you know, a quick zoomed out run through. So, make it its own thing. Now this stuff right here is stuff that I never even knew about. Apparently on the G1 toy, and I can't say apparently because I've seen pictures of it and stuff, there were some options with the stock and barrel extension to make them weapons for them. So like a big face, deadlock looking cannon. Which is neat.
And when it comes to fan service, I mean, this, not just as a Megatron toy, but as a masterpiece in general, I think Takara won above and beyond. When it came to that, it's just some of the QC shit that really brings it down. But when it comes to what all it comes with, what all it can do, you know, it's worth the price of admission, but... Again, we'll get into it when I show the gun mode and stuff like that. I'll show some areas where it's scratched and stuff. That's where it bring, gets brought down. Alright, so two different options. You can have the mobile version of that face cannon. Just attaches to them like you see. Or there's another configuration to where the stock actually becomes a big cannon base or a big blaster I don't know what you want to call it but it's pretty cool Let's get this all set up and I like that these setups are relatively quick they're you know just remove sight from arm place sight here fold barrel extension in half it's easy stuff really quick to put together and you can hold it with both hands easily and pictures of course Victoria Review, kumasal.com show it off I only use one arm for this because I didn't feel like reaching all the way around the figure and stuff like that you get the idea there it is. I actually really like that. And just for scale's sake, here it is next to some other MP figures. Official, MP10, Hasbro, as well as Takara Grapple. He is 9.5 inches tall, where Prime is about 9 on the dot, 9 and a quarter. I think it might even be 9 and a quarter to 9. I'm going to have to take a look at that off camera. There they are. Oh, and of course, Make Toys their iteration of jazz and there there's this gun mode Again. of course an homage to the Walther and I dig it it's a bit I can't say a bit there are a lot of lines through it and stuff like that it almost looks like a jigsaw puzzle and whatnot okay. I wish it was a bit more clean I like the overall like, silhouette to it and stuff like that. The color separation is good. The Decepticon logos, of course. Nice tidbit of having a, an official piece. I want to show you where, just from transforming this damn thing, you see it's all scratched up. At that connection piece and the bottom of that trigger area in general. And the barrel itself. And I'm actually going to do, I didn't get a good view here, so I filmed another one, and I'll show you in a second. But a good amount of scratching, and this is universal just from attaching the barrel extension. Now, there have been some fan mods and stuff like that, sanding down areas of the barrel extension so that it fits better. But just for the sake of fairness to viewers even, I saw it before I filmed this, but I decided to just go ahead and give it a go like normal anyway. So you guys can see, you know, it's not fair to not show something that's going to be a problem for people. But there's a barrel extension. And it goes on pretty smooth, but then that bigger middle area, the silencer area, that's where I think it's really tight. And the stock just clips on the bottom there. It's a long piece. I think it's about 26 inches. I'm gonna have to view the measurement here and let you guys know, but yeah, it's pretty long. Yeah, 
right around 26 inches, so over two feet long. Makes for a great display piece though. If I had another 230 bucks lying around, I'd get one and like hang it on my wall or something like that. It'd be neat. But again, here's where it gets scratched up. You can see the paint there. And for such a flat gray color, I don't understand why they didn't just use color, color plastic. It seems like that would have been a lot easier. Just paint the die cast parts, which the barrel isn't. And that can all be avoided right there. But you can see more scratching on the other side too. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. And it's unavoidable. But again, here is Takara's MP36 Megatron. Got mine, chosenprime.com. 230 bucks, free shipping, comes with a bunch of shit, you know? Do what you will. I would say wait for a revision, though, or something like that. Maybe fix some of these QC issues. But check out the four of you, kumasao.com, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.